Hello again everyone, Marcus here, I review stuff. Today I'm reviewing the song, maybe I'm pronouncing this right, Calais, Calais to Dover by Bright Eyes. Um, as always, this song comes to you as a request from one of my viewers, so if you want to be that person to request something, just leave it in the comments and I'll be sure to get to it. Um, so yeah, I don't think I've ever heard anything from Bright Eyes, although the name of the band sounds familiar, I guess. Uh, so I'm, I mean, for the most part, I'm, I'm going in blind, just hoping for a good song. And uh, yeah, that's, that's all I got to say. Let's let's jump into it. Again, this is uh, Bright Eyes. I have no idea how to say that word. Calais, Calais, to Dover. Here we go. Maybe he'll sing it in the, in the song and it'll teach me how to say it. <laughs> Here we go. Under a microscope of apoplectic vision My face on a slideshow, I look totally unhinged Forgot the Latin word, the name for this condition Shut up for sick to get attention Now this winter got an excuse to not go home Rented a house out on the coast Flying away, I heard a memory Your voice over the engine I'm not expecting a guitar solo here, but I like it. Guitar really does it for me. Yeah, yeah, that was a good song. Hmm. 
Yeah, that one was pretty laid back. I liked it a lot. I honestly was not expecting that guitar solo there in the uh, towards the end, well, in the middle end, towards the end. Um, but it was a pleasant surprise, honestly. It was uh, it was a really chill song. I, I definitely dug it. I don't know if it's like the mood that I'm in today. I, I, I think uh, today, you know, I have my days where I prefer something a little bit faster, heavier, uh, and I definitely wasn't expecting this. Um, but I liked it. It was it was it was a good song, easy to listen to. Like I said, um, with some pretty cool guitar solos in there that again just took me by surprise. But I was all for it. So anyway, let's break the song down like we always do. Of course, starting with the lyrics. So let's see. It says, "Under a microscope of apoplectic vision, my face on a slideshow." I looked totally unhinged, forgot the Latin word, the name for this condition, said I felt sick to get attention. Let's see what the genius annotation says here. These lyrics have medical connotations. Apoplectic is a word for extreme anger or rage to the extent that it could cause a stroke. Damn, Oberst is so angry he's making himself sick with it, but people think he's insincere. Although he says he forgot the Latin word, felt sick to get attention actually implies Munchausen, Munchausen syndrome, which comes from a German name. People with this disorder pretend to be sick or go so far as to make themselves sick for attention. Munchausen is also known as factitious disorder. The word factitious comes from the Latin adjective factitious, meaning made of art for artificial, which could also be what Obers is referring to. Wow, this person really did their, their research. Uh, so he's angry. He's, he's upset about something. Okay. Uh, now this winter got an excuse to not go home. Rented a house out on the coast. Flying away, I heard a memory, your voice over the engine, so full of remorse and apprehension. Now that you're gone, now that I'm out here on my own, it won't be long till I have to pay for what I've done. Tell me to stop, tell me to watch the way I, I talk, because nothing is changing. Don't want to state the obvious. Threw up on the ferry ride from, I mean, he said it, I didn't hear how he said it, Calest, back to Dover, as pale as the white cliffs that we faced. I like the cliffs of Dover, yeah. Uh, wasn't afraid eventualities, just knew that it was over. No brushes with death could help, could keep us sober. sober. Connor references the ferry that crosses the English Channel from France to England. It's a route that takes an hour and a half. Damn. Oberst told the son that he and his now deceased friend Simon Ring did a lot of good and bad things together. At one time, they were both very sick on that ferry. We were in the stalls next to each other, both throwing up. Damn. Uh, that sucks. <laughs> uh... The White Cliffs of Dover are a natural formation of steep cliffs made of chalk, giving them a stark white appearance. They're located on the coast of Dover, England. Um, Calais is directly on the other side of Dover in France. See, as an American, when I hear Dover, I always think of, like, De Delaware. Um, so, <laughs> until you say cliffs, then I'm like, oh, cliffs of Dover, great. Got it. Um, no brushes with death could keep us sober. Slime contrasting, yeah, I don't know. Uh, yeah, I have no idea what the song is about. Uh, maybe it's just about like general journeys and adventures that he's had in life, uh, throwing up on a ferry and traveling and being angry and maybe making up diseases. Uh, if I was in London, I'd hold you to everything. If we were in Cardiff, I'd just sing. But I'm stuck in Omaha, obsessed with my inventions. Uh, there isn't a name for this condition. Again, I, I don't know if when I see Omaha, I think of like Nebraska, but <laughs> I wonder where, which Omaha we're talking about here. Connor told NM NME this verse was intended as a eulogy for the group's Welsh former tour manager, Simon Ring, who passed away in 2011. We did some wild stuff together, and he was a really cool guy, so that verse was for him. Okay, so I wonder if just a lot of the song is for him, because I guess he, he was the same guy who was on the ferry ride. Maybe it's just a sort of reminiscing about this guy being angry about the way that some things turned out, um, but also being grateful for some of those times. I don't know. Tell me I'm wrong. Tell me you understand my love. Tell me what's off. What would you like to turn back on? Tell me what's gone. Make me a list of what you lost, because everything's changing. Don't want to state the obvious. Guitar solo, which was great. Uh, tell me what's wrong. Tell me I'll pay for what I've done. Tell me what's up. Pain like a big red rubber ball. Um, I wish I could stop. I wish I could tell you it was gone. But nothing is changing. Sorry to state the obvious. Now that you're gone, tell me you understand my love. Tell me what's wrong. Make me a list of what you lost. That's all that I want. I'll pay for what I've done. So, yeah, so again, to me, it sounds like this is sort of a tribute for his friend where uh, there's some anger, you know, as part of the grieving process. Uh, there, there's, but also joy and acceptance and stuff like that. So, 
uh, regret even. Nothing is changing to state the obvious. Yeah, you know, I don't really like for sure know what the song is about, but based on a lot of the uh, annotations here that I guess whoever contributed to this genius lyric analysis did, I, I think I think it's a, it's a, like a tribute to his friend more than anything. Uh, let's see, what have the artists said about the song? It's like a composite sketch again, but it's definitely a tip of the hat to this guy named Simon Reen. Okay, so there you go. I, there's a little bit of truth to that. Who used to tour with us. He's Welsh and was one of our sweetest, oldest friends that traveled the world with us. We lost him several years back, but I feel like I have to remind fucking Michael Mogus every once in a while that he's actually the most incredible rock guitar player that I've ever heard. Because he's not the type of guy to show off, but obviously he can shred. I was like, do a shred. It's been a while. I'm just like, just do it. Like, no, do the real thing. Do the thing. I had to twist his arm a little bit to get that out of it. Uh, but it felt right with that song. I had kind of an old school, old badass sound to it. I thought it could use a little arena rock guitar playing just to bring a different flavor. Yeah, you know, like I said, I think I really liked uh, that they did that. So I'm glad that he kind of pushed his friend, his, his bandmate, to kind of put that in the song. It felt like a good contrast, you know, the record has its share of juxtapositions, and that solo kind of hits you alongside the head. Uh, I guess mostly talking about the solo now, but lyrically, I thought it was great. Um, I, I think without, like, this person on, on Genius helping me out, I don't think I would have figured out it was about his friend. I mean, maybe. Uh, there were a, li- a couple lines in, that that li- lines in there that might have given it away. Um, but regardless, I thought it was a cool song. I mean, lyrically, it was interesting. Um, and I'm sure you could interpret it in multiple ways. So, you know, I give it a thumb up lyrically. Why not? I thought it was good. Um, I think where this song really shines is instrumentally, although I will say for a lot of the song it was just kind of like, yeah, all right, this sounds fine, this sounds fine, like it, it was okay, you know, it wasn't anything I feel like that really struck me until that guitar solo hit, which is like, like I said, why I'm really grateful that they did choose to throw that guitar solo in there, I really felt like it elevated the song. Uh, because a lot of the song was just a little too samey for me. It was just like, all right, I'm listening to kind of the same um, sort of melody over and over again. I want I want something a little bit different, and the guitar solo gave me a little bit different there. Um, and it came with with a nice side of like uh, some fun, energetic drumming as well. Um, so I think that that the guitar solo and the accompanying instrumentals around it um, really helped out. And then I like that he brought it back towards the end of the song there. So. Um, Overall, I mean, instrumentally, it was a fine song. I, I liked his voice as well. I don't know who, who what the guy's name is, unfortunately, but uh, I liked his singing style. I, I, I did actually like the beginning of the song. I was not expecting sort of a calmer, um, more, I guess, laid-back approach to this song. I'm not sure what I was expecting going in. Um, but then as the song continued on, it really picked up, and, and I did like that about it as well. So a lot of stuff to really like here um, instrumentally. I don't think it was really my favorite song, though. Uh, again, the guitar solo really, really helped, and it's definitely going to help it get a spot on my playlist. Um, it's just I wish for something a little bit more exciting throughout the song, not just in that guitar solo. So um, instrumentally, you know, I give it a thumb up. I thought it was good. Um, as far as replay value goes, you know, I can see myself listening to this one again. The lyrics were interesting, very heartfelt, um, very authentic in, in a lot of ways. I feel like uh, the vocal performance was, was solid, um, good instrumental work, and like I said, that guitar solo really, really elevates the song for me. Um, again, glad that the that one uh, of the bandmates convinced the other to put it in there because it's a solid choice on, in my opinion. Um, but you know, I, it has room on my playlist for sure. I'm, am I gonna listen to it all the time? Probably not. Uh, but I definitely want to come back to it. It was a good song, and maybe some repeat listens will give me uh, something else to kind of appreciate about it. So you know, it's it's gonna go on the playlist. I give it a thumb up for replay value. Um, overall, not a bad song by any means. I'm kind of interested to see more from this band, uh, to hear more from the band, and see what else they can do. As he was saying, kind of in those comments there, is that this is uh, a little bit different than some of the other things you might hear on the album. So I'm kind of curious to see what the rest of it sounds like. Um, so. Thank you for the request. If you have more from this band or just requests in general you want to you want to see or hear on the channel, um, just put them in the comments, and I'll be sure to add it to my list. If you enjoyed the music as much as I did, of course, go support the artists. Go listen to their music wherever you can. Um, and, of course, if you want to support me, just all the normal stuff you do on YouTube, you know, like and subscribe and comment. All right, that's going to be it for me. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye for now.